The Yadagon, Turkish sword, sometimes referred as the T-84-120, was a prototype main battle tank aimed at the export market. It was developed in Ukraine to meet a Turkish army requirement for a new main battle tank. Comparative evaluation trials took place in 2000, however the Yadagon was not selected by the Turkish army. Also this tank received no production orders from other customers. The Yadagon is a further development of the Ukrainian Oplot MBT, fitted with a NATO-compatible 120mm smoothbore gun and a new bustle-mounted autoloader. The turret bustle is fitted with blowout panels. These design features were first tested on an improved T-72-120 main battle tank. The Yadagon has a new 120mm tank gun that was developed in Ukraine to meet requirements of possible export customers. Protection of the Yadagon is similar to that of the Oplot main battle tank. It has a welded steel hull and turret and is fitted with built-in explosive reactive armor. Its 120mm gun is compatible with all standard NATO tank ammunition. The Yadagon can also fire Ukrainian-made anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary projectiles. It is a special version of the Russian at 11 sniper anti-tank guided missile. A total of 40 rounds are carried for the main gun. Autoloader holds 22 of them. Remaining 16 rounds are stowed in additional stowage places inside the combat compartment. Fire control system derived from the Oplot MBT, secondary armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and remotely controlled 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun. Vehicle is powered by the 6TD-2 multi-fuel diesel engine, developing 1200 horsepower. Mobility of the Yadagon is similar to that of the Oplot. It also has a deep wading kit and can ford water obstacles up to 5M deep.